Hey guys, it's me Max Sacro 11 and I'm back. So we have our robot here in the scene. He uh he's running and having some animations on him, but when he tries to shoot us, he the game just crashes. So we're going to fix that right now. All you have to do is first we have to add the bullet or the rocket so he's actually using a rocket launcher so we're gonna create a rocket so just go to empty space or something maybe on the other side okay here so <coughs> right here you're going to go to uh, your wait let me just find you're going to go to your FPS models go to objects weapons rocket drag the rocket right here let me just stretch it and make sure it's uh, okay just stretch it out Okay, I got a little bit carried away. Let's not make it that big. Okay. Maybe a little bit smaller. Yeah, that should do it. Now, uh, go. let's texture it. If your is already textured, then don't even try to do it. Do this rocket sheet and just drag it to it or just drag it here so anyways now it's all colorful and looking good so now what we have to do is add some animation to it so first what we're first going to do is go to weapon scripts and drag the rocket script right on there so now we have this there should be an explosion non game object so just search here in the project view you should have this search bar right here and type in small explosion and just drag that to your explosion it should be set to none and when you drag it over there you should get small explosion so uh, what else um, you need to click on it and then go to component physics and box collider and now let's add some animations to it I mean particles sorry so just um, delete what you write it here and now let's close all this let's close the FPS models and go to standard assets go to particles go to legacy particles if you have them you should have them and go to maybe sparks I don't think I don't know no no sparks wait no just um find something like smoke or something like that I don't know smoke trail detailed smoke this should do it should do I don't know find anything you can and put it right behind um, your a uh, rocket so put it right behind there should be then align it right to be right behind the rocket should be it right now. okay so it should look something like this smoke coming from the rockets something very close to that 
and um, now you have this detailed smoke drag the detailed smoke to the rocket and now you have this and when you drag the rocket the smoke goes right behind it so you can make the smoke um, I don't know go even more as you can see I don't know play with it a little bit and you'll get more smoke so now all we have to do is go to your FPS models go to objects and go to weapons and left click on the weapons folder and go to create and create prefab it should be gray and type in um, rocket um, one or rocket prefab called whatever you want and you will get this empty thing right here and you go to your rocket you just made in the game and just drag it to the rocket prefab uh, the gray one you just made here so now every time you drag it you get the exact same copy of the one you have right now so let's delete both of these in the hierarchy view and now all we need is the rocket prefab now if we want him to shoot we have to go to him uh, and we have to create the empty game object I don't know I'm not sure if we have to put it in front of him something like that it should be in front of him I think if you have the time put it in front of him I don't know anywhere really I'm not sure somewhere around here and rename the game object to gun spawn and go to your FPS models FPS models go to weapon scripts and drag the the rocket launcher script no wait yeah drag the rocket launcher script to your gun spawn and drag the gun spawn to your robot now get something like this and you get this projectile non ridge body so now close the weapon scripts go to objects to weapons and find the rocket prefab you made um, over here remember so let's just drag the rocket prefab to the gun spawn wait no wait click on the gun spawn and drag the rocket prefab to the projectile non ridge body and leave it there and now close everything up and test it out it should work perfectly he should shoot it should explode and yeah let's see how we do we've done he's moving still working perfectly I'm just walking around he sees me he's running after me sorry about that guy he shoots and makes an explosion he shoots directly at you so let's see that again when he shoots it falls right there can you see the the rocket all right when he hits you the explosion what yeah he shoots anyways 
that's how you make your enemy shoot and that should be it for today's lessons lesson and after this uh, the next tutorial part 3 will will be about uh, um, his dead replacement when he dies so have fun until next time max 11 signing off